Hey guys, it's Thomas here with TechnoVision and welcome to the next part of our Spigot tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be covering how to make custom commands for your plugin. And you can put commands in any class you want. We can even put them in the main class if you want. But in this case, we're going to put them in a separate class just for commands. Uh, just lump them all together just for this tutorial. So go over to your package explorer here and we want to make a new uh, package in our tutorial package. So tutorial dot and we're going to name this commands. And normally you'd have, depending on how extensive the commands are, a class per major command. But uh, in this case, I'm going to lump them all in one command uh, or one class rather. So right click new Java class and we're going to name this uh, tutorial commands. And we can add this to the repository. Now, first thing we want to do is make sure that it implements implements command executor. There we go. So this is a uh, an interface that we need to implement from the spigot or bucket API. Just hover over it and implement the method. And this will implement the command uh, method right here. So this method uh, is gonna be where basically everything related to your command uh, is executed. There's really nothing else that's gonna go on in this class unless uh, you wanna make other helper methods or whatever you wanna do with that. So first thing you wanna do, well, we're gonna make this true. Uh, always make sure that this returns true, otherwise it will return a, um, a very weird like text version of your uh, of your command. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is make a very simple slash heal and slash feed, uh, feed command, sort of like what Essentials does. Uh, so first thing you want to do is if, uh, well I guess we should change these actually. Let's make a command sender just sender. We can change command to cmd, uh, s to label, and strings to args. And this is just going to be easier for us to follow. Um, so first thing you want to do is check if the sender, this is the person that is uh, running the command, if they are a player. Because in uh, Bucket and Spigot, you can actually run commands on the console and as a player. So we want to check if it's a player first. So if sender is an instance of player, uh, we might have to import player there. There we go, import player. So if sender is a player, then we want to cast. So player uh, player is equal to casting sender into a player there we go so uh pretty much uh if any player runs a command then everything inside of this if statement will run otherwise you can have stuff for your console commands here another way you could do this if you wanted uh which i think actually might be even nicer is you could put this cast down here and you could just have if sender is not an instance of player. So let me get rid of this. So basically, if sender is the console, uh, if sender is not an instance of player, then you could just uh, return true. And then have the rest uh, happen down here, which I think is what I'm going to do just so that it looks a little bit nicer. Um, and we're not on one big if statement. So um, now that we know that the person running the command is not the console, we, we have the player. So what we want to do is check what that command actually is. So if command uh, dot get name, that's going to get the actual like command that you ran uh, dot equals ignore case. So what does it equal? This is going to be the actual command uh, that you're, you're catching. So in my case, I want our command to be um, slash slash heal. This is our first command. And what this is going to do is it's going to heal a player up uh, no matter what like health they're at, it's going to heal them up to max. So we want this to say heal. So if the player runs slash heal, uh, everything in this if statement will run. All right, so we know it's heal. They've run the heal command. So what does it actually do? Well, uh, we want to heal the player. So let's get their max health first, the maximum health that a player can have. And we can do that by uh, setting an int max health is equal to player dot get, uh, oh, well actually it would be get attribute now because of the new attribute API. So player dot get attribute, attribute dot, uh, I believe it's generic max health. And then of course we have to dot get the default value. So that's how you just get like the basic maximum possible health uh, that, uh, that the player can have. And this also mean, needs to be a double as well. Um, so now that we have the max health, we can set the player's health. So player dot set health, and we can just set it to the max. All right, so 
Uh, this is pretty much the command finished. I mean, obviously it's not gonna run in game yet because we have to add a few other things in some other classes, but this is pretty much the basic code for a heal command. Um, so let's make one for feed as well, since we're here. Um, let me get rid of this. All right, so, and we can actually have this return true, return true. Although it's not really necessary because um, uh, the rest of these if statements won't return, but just uh, just to let you know that this will finish the uh, the command method. So if command dot get name dot equals ignore case, this time it's gonna be feed for the slash feed command. Uh, if it uh, equals feed, then what we wanna do is just do player dot set food level, and we're just gonna set this to 20. And 20 is the maximum uh, food that you can have. I, believe, I don't know if that includes saturation, but you know you can figure that out for yourself if you want. So now we have a basic heal command and a basic feed command. Now in order for these to actually work, we need to, well first let's save, save all. We need to go to the uh, main class here with our on enable and on disable. And in on enable, um, just like we did with the events where we registered our events, we need to do the same thing with the command. So uh, we wanna do uh, command, get command, sorry, get command. Uh, we wanna type in the name of the command. So first it's gonna be heal dot set executor. And the executor is gonna be your, your tutorial commands class. So new tutorial commands class. Um, and that's pretty much how you set the executor. Now I didn't do this very well because really you should have a separate class for each major command that you do. Um, that way you don't have to sort of make multiple instances of your of the same class just for uh, to set the executor. Um, but what we can do is just so that there's less instances of this tutorial commands class, let's just make tutorial commands, commands is equal to new tutorial commands. And we can just set that um, instead. That way we're not making multiple instances because we will have to copy all of this and paste it below for our heal or sorry, our feed command as well. Uh, so now we have set the executor for our heal and feed command. Uh, so this will work, but we do need to go into our plugin.yml here. So what you want to do is make a new section here called commands with a colon. And we're just going to keep adding commands as we go. So first command is going to be heal because that is the command we just set um, with a colon, a new section. And we need to set the description. So description. I don't think this is necessary, but you should do it anyways, just to uh, help out people using your, your plugin. So the description, exactly what it says, it's the description of your of your command. So uh, heals player to max health. Uh, okay, so next we need usage. Usage, and this is gonna tell people how to use your command. So I'm gonna put uh, slash and then command. This is just gonna tell people to use slash heal, pretty much. Um, and then aliases is pretty important to cover, I guess. So aliases are uh, basically any other way to write your, your command. So someone could type slash heal, uh, but if you set an alias for slash heal me, someone could type slash heal me and get the same effect. So uh, we can set multiple of these. You can actually create a list here um, and we can put uh, like, uh, what, what are some good aliases for this? I guess healing. Uh, heal me, uh, heal max, I don't know. Whatever you wanna put here, but just so you know uh, that you can set multiple. Or if you just wanted to set one, you could just ditch the list and just put one alias like that. Uh, heal me, there we go. All right, so now we just wanna copy all of this and paste it below and do the same thing for feed, the feed command. So feed uh, feeds player to max saturation. Uh, and then our alias will be feed me. There we go, so we can file, save all, and I believe this is it for commands. So now we can go up to build, build artifacts, build, and I will see you guys in the server to test this out. Okay, so we're inside of our server now, and you can see that I have some hearts missing as well as some hunger missing. So let's try out the heal command first. We can do slash heal, and you can actually see heal and heal me, our Elias and our command both pop up, uh, which means that they are registered. And if we enter, we can see, there we go. It did heal us to full hearts. And we can do the same thing with slash feed. And there we go, full hunger. Uh, so there you go, that's your first command. 
So before we finish, one thing I wanted to mention that I thought was kind of important is that usually when you have commands, you don't just want them to do something, you also want them to give the player some sort of feedback through a message so they know that something actually happened, otherwise they might think that your plugin is broken. So let's add a couple messages to our plugin. So first, if the uh, sender is not a player, if they're a, um, a console or something else, we want to send a message uh, telling them why the, pl uh, the command didn't work. So Let's do sender dot send message. And we're just gonna send a message that says only players can use that command. That way people know in the future that when they use your command on the console, it's not gonna work. Uh, so let's also do this with the heal command. So uh, right after we heal the player, let's do player dot send a message. And uh, just to let you know, normally people use color codes with the uh, the at symbol, um, and then you know they'll put like at a, and then write a message, uh, and that will color code something. Well, in Spigot, in the actual code, um, this should actually be this character. And I actually don't even know what this character is called. Um, I'm sure it's something that's used for something else, but uh, this character is what is converted into the at symbol. So you wanna use this character for color codes. Um, so we can do at uh, E and then at L, that's gonna bold. Then we can make like a little uh, alert symbol. And then we can do it again uh, at E and we're gonna write just a simple message like you have been healed. Um, we can do the same thing for feed as well. And we can just say, instead of you have been healed, you have been fed. Uh, there we go, so we have some messages. We can save all, build our artifacts, and I will check this out in the game with you. Okay, so we're back in the game, and really quickly, if we do slash heal, we can see it says you have been healed. And if we do slash feed, it says you have been fed. And of course, the actions follow. So yeah, that's just to help your player get a little bit of feedback. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks guys so much for watching and I hope that you mess around with commands and make something really cool and I will see you guys in the next episode. Mm -hmm.